book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. But first and foremost, we want to give all the praises and the glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Rakath Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakar Kodash. We give double honors to our beloved teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. Shalom to the 144 governing body of men as well as Shalom to the one-third, the hopeful elect of men, women, and the children. All the praises is forever given to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Aman, so be true. My name is Brother Ahab, and I'd like to talk about patience. Remember this, righteousness will come to pass. Yes, here on this earth, righteousness will come to pass. Okay, because this is a wicked and perverted nation. This kingdom, is that we, this present rulership we are living in, is wicked and perverted. And it will go down, according to the scriptures. Righteousness will come to pass, yes, here on this earth. All right? So verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle sh shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Let's go to Romans. Romans 5 verse 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulation worketh patience. It's all a major key factor in this truth is the patience. All right? Faith is the major importance too also. But we're talking about patience here. All right? And patience, experience, and experience, hope. But if we hope for that we see not, right? You see, that, that's, that's where it goes to the faith. It's all about the faith. But we talk about the patience here. Because if you're being patient, you're showing that you have faith. Then we do with, let me say it again. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Right? For whatsoever things are written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Patience is a very important key. Now, just because, you know, we see things not coming to pass, it will come to pass because everything is for an appointed time. Everything, it will come to pass. Righteousness will come to pass. And we all seek righteousness. And that is the new kingdom to heaven to come. We all seek that. Right? Isaiah 55 verse 8 to 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahushai. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. And this is why the scripture says them not to lean onto our own understanding. Okay? Not to lean onto our own understanding. It will come to pass. Everything that is written will come to pass. Esau Edom is going down. This present rulership, right, 
is going down. And the righteous is going to take over for good. Okay? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right? Zephaniah 3 verse 8. Therefore wait ye upon me. This is what it is, the patience. We have to wait on our Heavenly Father. When the Lord is ready to lift up a standard, what we have to do? You have to wait. You have to suffer. You have to be patient. All right? You have to be patient. Let's go back again to patience. Strong's G 5281. All right? Strong's G 5281. Upon my name. Upon my name. Patience, enduring, patient, continuance, patience, waiting. You see? Steadfastness, constancy, endurance. That's it's all about. Patience and steadfastly. Right? Waiting. That's what it's all about. We have to wait on our Heavenly Father. Go back into Zephaniah 3 verse 8. Therefore wait ye upon me. Who? Wait upon Yahweh Shem Yashai. Who gives the increase? Yahweh Shem Yashai. Therefore wait upon me. Right? Let's go to Zephaniah 3 verse 8. Therefore wait ye. He says, therefore wait. Strong's H 2442. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> to wait. To wait. Await. Right? To tarry. To wait in, in ambush. To wait for long. Long for. This is what it is about to be patient, to long it for something. Right? Therefore, wait upon me, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yashai, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, which is righteous anger. Right? Even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. This will be come to pass. This will come to pass, right? It was destroyed by the flood, okay, and the next time it's going to be judged, okay, it's going to be judged by fire. The nuclear missiles, right? Fire of my jealousy. But we have to wait. It says, therefore, wait ye upon me. Right? So I'm going to read this again. Romans 15 verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience, the long suffering, all right, the pain, and comfort, you see, but it's a balance. You have to go through the pain because the scriptures, you know, when we have distress, when we have, um, when we're not feeling so good, what we do, we, we go to the scriptures to give us comfort. This is why we need Yahweh Bar Sham Yashai. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, you see, might have hope now the power of patience our lord our power of patience and cons consolation grant you to be like-minded toward one toward another according to yahweh shai hamashiach so patience is a is a, a major a key factor to this truth because lord willing we have to beg the Heavenly Father to keep the Holy Spirit on us. All right? Because we cannot lose patience. Lord willing, we cannot lose patience. Okay? 
2 Corinthians 6 verse 3, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of the Lord our power in much patience. It goes more, in afflictions, in necessities, in distress. This is a part of the patience that we have to bear, we have to bear this. All right? Because our ways are not the Father's ways. Our thoughts are not His thoughts. Okay? We have to wait upon the Lord. Wait. In stripes, in imprisonments, in turmoils, in labors, in watchings, in fastings. By pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by love unframed, by the word of truth, by the power of the Lord Yahweh Shamashai, by the armor of righteousness, on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as an unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and not killed. Right? Because we're like sheep brought to the slaughter. This is why we have to beg our Heavenly Father to give us this day our daily bread. As sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. This is how we feel. Because why we're living in hope. We are trying to be paid. We have to remain patient. As sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. Always rejoicing. As poor, yet making many rich. As having nothing, and yet possessing all things. And this is a special gift from the Lord. The faith, the patience, right? You have to go to the afflictions, the long-suffering, waiting. That's not a pleasant feeling. To wait, to wait. But listen, but we know there is there's the light at the end of all of this. There's a reason why you're going through the affliction. But the Lord wants us to wait upon Him. Wait upon His Son. Because He's going to fight for us. He's going to fight for us. And that's the faith we, we possess. Right? The faith. So it's the patience. Revelations 3 verse 10 to 12. And it reads, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, the long suffering, right? The chastisement. Whatever the Lord has put upon us, we have to take it and we have to take it cheerfully. Well, we have to take it cheerfully, right? As it said at the thing at the bottom here, in the other one, the one before I read, uh, so like here. In Second Corinthians six verse ten, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing. This is what it is. We're in sorrow, and that is a part of the affliction, right? The chastisement, the laboring, because we're laboring to 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 try to feed the flock. Okay, you're going to have scoffers that come up and you have to deal with that too. As sorrowful yet always re always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. Imagine possessing all things. Although we are poor, we're still possessing all things. Revelations 3 verse 10. And this is one of the major prophecies that we're dealing with. We're going to have to deal with. Right? The mark of the beast, the RFID chip. Right? We've got the deliverance. We've got Jacob's trouble. Lord willing, soon. Lord willing this year, 2024. As Elder Apostle Tahar said, the year of Jacob's trouble. But we have to stand, stand firmly for this truth going through all trials and tribulations. 
Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. The patience, the patience. All right? And this is what we're waiting for. We're waiting for this righteous kingdom to go to come to go down. So like we're waiting for this wicked kingdom to go down. We seek a new righteous kingdom. All right? Forgive me for saying that. A righteous kingdom will come to pass. And this wicked kingdom that we are living in right now will come down. But we have to wait on our Heavenly Father. All right? Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the word to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of the Lord our power, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my power, Yahweh Sham Yahushai, and the name of the city of my people, of my power, which is in Jerusalem, is the new Jeru Jerusalem, 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 which cometh down out of heaven from our Lord Yahweh Shemeshai, and I will write upon him my new name. This is what we are seeking, this new kingdom to come, this righteous kingdom, all right? But in order to get this, to go through, we have to go through that hour of temptation, we have to go through the hour of temptation. Because thou hast kept my the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And that is one major prophecy that we have to pass. We have to pass that major prophecy in order to enter into the new righteous kingdom to come. Yes, which is going to be here on earth. All right? Open pray that it's edifying through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Rakuthi Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Basham Rakakwadash. And we give double honors to our teachers of Great Millstone. Right? Righteousness will come to pass. This wicked and perverted kingdom will be put down. It will be put down, but we have to wait. We have to be patient and wait for the Lord. Wait for the Lord, because spiritual powers are coming. All right? And Esau is going down, full stop. Esau is going down. Shalom.